This video is sponsored by Video Lancer. Christmas is around the corner, why not create a magical sparkling animation to wish your friends, family and clients a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It can be a great way to show them how much you appreciate them this holiday season. So let's create a magical sparkling Christmas animation inside of After Effects without using any kind of third party plugins. I am Nick Hill from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Are you familiar with these video transitions? Certainly you are. Nowadays, they are the most popular transitions on YouTube. Video Lancer Motion Designer, who developed them, have created more than 3,000 of such handy seamless transitions for After Effects as well as for Premiere Pro. Try them now. Free versions are available for all subscribers of Video Lancer channel. Links for downloading in the description. Now, before we begin with this tutorial, I would like to take a minute and say a huge thanks to my Patreon family. Because of you guys, I am able to do what I want to do and keep this channel going by creating some amazing tutorials. And by the way, for the people who don't know, I have a Patreon page. You can support me on Patreon by donating as less as just $1 and get access to all my old tutorial project files and many other exclusive stuff like templates, some behind the scene videos and stuff like that. So I'll mention the link down in the description. And once again, thank you. Thank you so much, my Patreon family. I love you guys. All right. So here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be our main comp 1920 by 1080. 29.97 FPS. You can also go with 30 FPS if you want to. 10 seconds long. Looks good. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition for our title. So let's call this title and hit OK. Now you can of course use any font and text that you want to use for the title. I'm going to go with Merry Christmas and align it into the center just like so. And I'm using a really nice creamish color. You can copy the color code if you want to and hit OK. Then select the text layer, go to layer and layer style. And I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. So I'll just zoom in so you can see what's going on. Go into bevel and emboss, make some room right here and change the technique, the technique. Yep, the technique from smooth to chisel hard. So we have this really nice bevel and increase the depth to 200. So now we have much more depth into our text as you can see. Also for the size, I'll set this really high. So I'll just increase it somewhere around, somewhere around there looks good to me. And yeah, everything else, I'm gonna leave it at the default settings. I think this is looking pretty good. And then I can select this, go into layer, layer style and add some outer glow to this very minimal. So I'll go into outer glow and maybe give it a really nice yellowish color that goes with the color of our text. And maybe I'll increase the size a bit and bring down the opacity just a touch. So now you can see it's looking much better. Maybe increase the opacity a bit. Okay, that is looking good. Now let's go into the main composition and drag in the title comp into the main comp. And then we can start animating this. So I'll go to around maybe two seconds. Hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe, go back in time. Let's set this to zero. And I'll also animate the scale. So hit S to bring up the scale property. I'll drag this to around seven seconds, create a keyframe on the scale, go back. And let's scale this down to around, maybe I'll go with 50. And right here, I'll go with maybe somewhere around there. So 84 looks good to me. So now we have a very basic animation, as you can see. Let's select this and hit U so we can see 
just the keyframes select the keyframes and hit f9 to ease, ease the keyframes then i'm going to select the layer and hit s two times so i can see just the scaling keyframes select the keyframes go into the graph editor now if your graph editor doesn't look like this then make sure to right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag the handle just like so just touch and now we should have this very nice and simple scaling animation that is a zoom animation basically that we are going for but this looks pretty good let's select the opacity as well go into the graph and tweak this a touch so now we have something like that maybe that is not working with the opacity i'll just bring this a bit closer okay so that is much better maybe a bit more i think i'm going to select the scale keyframes again go into the graph and i'll tweak this one as well so i'll just drag this yep that is looking way better the small animations matters a lot actually Now let's select the composition and add some glow to our text. So I'm going to add glow. Let's bring up threshold a bit. We'll zoom in and increase this to around maybe oh, somewhere around there. You can play around with the threshold depending on what kind of look you want to go for. I think this looks very nice. Let's duplicate the glow hit control d to duplicate it and increase the threshold this time and increase the glow radius as well so i'm going to create a larger glow just like so you can play around with the opacity i'm going to keep it really minimal okay so that is looking much better i think it's a bit too red for me make this a bit like christmas yep there we go that is looking great then let's select the composition and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and change the blending mode to add then i'll solo this up and then i can delete all the effects that we have added and we will be using a very interesting effect that is vegas now this is a very underrated effect i believe because the potential of this effect is very high and there are several tutorials on youtube that will show you how to use this effect in number of different ways which are absolutely amazing so anyways i'll set the first of all set the blending mode to transparent okay and then what i'm going to do is first of all let's go to image contours and bring down the intensity a bit to around maybe somewhere around there i think tolerance i'm gonna keep it zero and yeah everything else looks i think looks good so far let's go into segments first of all bring down the segments to one which is very important to get the desired look and you can of course play around with the length how long you want the strokes to be but i'm gonna keep it somewhere around maybe point there you can also turn on random phases so that it animates through different you know sides of the text if you turn that off it will animate just on a on the same side or the same way so i'm gonna keep it random bring this a bit low i'll go to rendering and give it a nice um orangish color okay that looks good maybe increase the stroke size around three yep and now i'm gonna add a fast blur to this just to blur this up a touch and add some glow increase the radius play around with the threshold and then we can animate the stroke while using the rotation so we get this really cool look as you can see right over here maybe i'll bring down the width to two that looks much better 
and make this appear yellow so yeah that is looking great let's go at the very beginning and create a keyframe on the rotation i'll go to around seven seconds and just drag it just like so so we have a very simple stroke animation as you can see yep looks great let's go right over here and animate the opacity of this so hit t to bring down the opacity actually we have already animated the opacity so i'm going to tweak this a bit so i'll drag it and let's create a keyframe right over here go to seven seconds or maybe somewhere on there and let's set this to zero so that it fades up really nicely you can see looking great you can also play around the mid opacity and stuff like that but right now i'm not gonna go into that much of depth for the segment i'll keep it even yep everything else looks good to me oh one thing that i forgot to do is i need to go into image contours and set the channel to alpha so that the strokes are just at the outer side of our text so now you can see it looks much more clean and nice i'll make it a bit on the orange side just like so maybe a bit lighter yep that is looking much better now let's go ahead and add some nice particles to this so what i can do is i can select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and delete all the effects solo this up so we can see what's going on on this layer okay so let's add cc particle world 2 to this cc particle system 2 it's been a long time since i have used this effect so i just forgot the name anyways what I'm going to do is let's go right over here somewhere on maybe let's go to 1 second and 15 frames. Create a keyframe on the birth rate. First of all, let's set this to 15. Create a keyframe. Go one frame forward by hitting page down on the keyboard and set this to zero. So we have keyframes on just one second because I want the particles to stop animating or you know stop getting produced basically birth birth that is what birth means like getting produced anyways so for the longevity i'll set this to one and let's go into the producer settings let's increase the radius x maybe somewhere around there looks good and for the while i increase this a little bit maybe something like that let's go into physics and set this to jet sideways for the velocity, I'll make this around maybe 2.5 should be good. And for the gravity, let's actually keep it at 0.1. Because I want very, you know, very small amount of gravity as you can see. Okay. For the resistance, I'll increase this a bit, maybe something like that. That is starting to look really cool. Maybe a bit more. Okay. And everything else looks good, so I'm not going to tweak anything. I'll go into the particles and set this to faded spheres and then bring down the size really nice and small to maybe 0 0.05, something like that. Maybe something like that. Let's actually go with 0 0.05. So they're very, very small. Maybe I'll increase the opacity so you can see them. Size variation, I'll keep it. Uh, maybe zero and for the color I'll set this to nice orangish color looks much better for the max opacity I'll set this to 100 so far so good but I think the particles are way too small so I'll increase the size a bit just like that maybe make them a nice orangish color let's unsolo this so we can see it with our Christmas text as you can see looking very nice 
now we need to just uh, you know uh, adjust the position of the particles so i'm going to hit u you can see these two keyframes i can drag them just like so keep it somewhere yo that looks great i'll set this to a nice yellow color yep i think it's looking very very nice maybe i can create some nice gaps between those keyframes just to have more particles in the background as you can see maybe you need just need to you know rearrange the timing just to make them look proper all right so now we have our animation ready to go now we can start building up our background which is very simple i'm going to use some assets that i got from internet i'll also mention the files into the actually i'll mention the videos into the project file but if, if you want you can download the different footages that they have on their website so it's very simple you can just select the background particles i'm going to drag and drop it so there we go let's scale this up i'm gonna hit, hit s and bring up the scale property just like so so now we have some really nice particle in our background and then add some more air particles i'm gonna change the blending mode to screen scale this up as well also let's rotate it because the particles are going upwards i want them to fall down so i'll rotate it by 180 degrees so now we have something like that and really quick i'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this glow and add some glow onto this particle so i'm going to drag this down and add glow on this increase or decrease the threshold actually and increase the radius just like a touch now you can see we have some nice glow onto our particles also i can create one more new adjustment layer put this on the top call this cc for color correction and let's add curves to this let's bring up some color just like so and there we have a very nice christmas title animation so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like and make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motion i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative